hello students in today's video you will find in a solid state of matter about crystalline solid then first I am going to tell you what is crystalline solid a solid substance in which the constituent particles like atoms ions or molecules are arranged in a definite geometrical pattern hence solid have a definite or regular shape and irrespective of the size of the solid is called crystalline solid for example sodium chloride is having cubic shape but it does not depend on the size of the solid piece second example copper sulfate pentahydrate CuSO 4.5 H2O has rhombic rhombohedric crystal no matter how big or small is the piece of this solid ferrous sulfate heptahydrate FeSO4 dot 7 s 2 green vitriol crystal has octahedral shape no matter how big or small is the piece of this solid potassium nitrate has prismatic crystal with sharp edges no matter how big or small is the size of the or potassium nitrate piece of that solid like that this regular geometrical shape definite or regular characteristic shape remember and next point is this regular arrangement of particle this definite or orderly arrangement of particle extends throughout the three dimensional network of the in the crystal that arrangement extend throughout three dimensional network of crystal and hence in crystal there is long order arrangement of particles what does it mean long order arrangement means this orderly arrangement of particles regular arrangement of particles repeat itself periodically over the entire crystal now I am going to tell you properties of crystalline solid first nature a crystalline solid is actually a true solid this is a true solid and in nature means what is its nature this is a true solid and second one I am going to tell you same and third I will tell you heat of fusion heat of fusion same crystalline solid has a definite regular geometric shape so I some examples I told you just now sodium chloride cubic and copper sulfate pentahydrate rhombohedric ferrous sulfate heptahydrate octahedral potassium nitrate prismatic some example I told you like that they have definite characteristic geometrical shape next point is heat of fusion this heat of fusion of crystalline solid is definite they have a definite certain characteristic heat of fusion 
I will tell you detail again. Next is number four. I am going to tell you an isotropic property. An isotropic means tropic. Nature, these solids are an anisotropic. Anisotropic means some of their physical properties like electrical resistance, conductivity, refractive index, etc., have different values when measured along different direction in the same crystal. This is the anisotropic property and they have. Next is compressibility. Compressibility means uh, particles are closely packed, hence they are not compressible, they are incompressible. Crystalline solids are incompressible, particles are closely packed, incompressible. Number six, melting point. Crystalline solids have certain definite melting points. They have sharp melting points. If they are heated, as soon as the temperature reaches to its melting point, they will abruptly melt. Then they have a definite sharp melting point. Now next is there. I am going to tell you some uses. Then what? Where are these? solids used crystalline solid like calcite one example remember calcite important one calcite is used for making optical instruments like prism then these are very useful also and next i am going to tell you some examples some examples I am going to tell you some examples like here iron, silver, copper, crystalline solids, sulfur, non-metal and diamond, diamond, zinc sulfide, this is a compound sodium chloride a compound like that quartz quartz etc iodine a non-metallic element these are the examples of some crystalline solids now we have to remember these things and one also there is very important cleavage planes i could not cleavage cleavage planes what is this a crystalline solid when cut with a sharp edged knife blade then it is split up into two pieces it is split up into smaller pieces with plane and smooth surfaces crystals with plane and smooth surfaces. Hence, they have a well-defined cleavage planes, remember. And then these are some important properties of crystalline solid and these are some examples of crystalline solid. And here I told one huge also about calcite for optical instrument like prism. Melting everything I have told you, that's all for today. Again, next day I will tell you.